Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much much as you're getting to know me and if you uh you feel like the videos have been uplifting to you they just really give you a good vibe please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated um and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas um they they uh they thought they broke your wings and forgot about the claws they didn't expect you uh you're the unexpected they didn't expect you're the unexpected and that's true it, it's just like a lot of times we feel like we're broken we feel like we're defeated um we feel like we can't move forward this pain is too painful for, for us to move on and knowing not realizing that exact situation that you're going through is going to give you that drive to really see that beast within you that was waiting for you. You know, it'll be that one when you show up for yourself until you show up for yourself where you get surprised. You're shook about so many different things that went on to your life and it really showed you in a whole new different way. It'll be different things where, you know... It's just like the devil sends so many different things towards you to try to break you, to try to make you feel defeated, make you feel like there ain't no way out of any different thing, that God is not going to show up and show out for you, that there is nothing else that can go past this life instead of what you're enduring at that point. When universe will see this as a situation, like get angry and get very angry, but not in getting angry and being vengeful. Your venge the vengeance that you're going to have is like vengeance as I said Lord you, you need to allow him to go ahead and deal with that but the best vengeance you have is where you get up you build yourself back up in front of what broke you anything that has just set you off in, into a situation where you felt like you couldn't go and it's just like there's a lot of people that I've, um, that have came across my path where we, we share similar stories where you know you were beat down you know, you have had near death experiences. You've been having people out there to kill you since you, you don't, I mean, just before you can even understand. You know, you were doomed from the womb. You know, it was just like when I look back at mine, it was just like being in the hospital. Uh, when I, it was like my first year I was born. You know, different things that took place into my life that uh, I sh there is no way I should have been able to make it through what I had. You know, and it was just like different things that my mom and her husband was telling me about how, and I remember it, and that's what makes it so bad. I remember the different things that I've gone through in my life where I don't even understand how I made it. You know, how I surpassed the different things that God has placed on, you know, that the devil placed on my path that God, you know, overcome. God has protected me. You know, there's different things that have, that you have faced. And it'll be just, you're just trying to understand why am I the target of going through these different things. Why is it that my life is not. is it, it, it doesn't mean nothing to so many people. Or so many different situations. Why is it my life that's always like that. And it's just the fact is. Because you have the potential to make change. In ways that wasn't possible with certain people. And when you are able to do that. They will send a wrath. Of, of devil type vibrations towards your way. To condemn you for that. Just because it's just your 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 purpose, your your matter, the way you you sit, the way you project your 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 it's like your energy speaks before you do, and you don't even realize that. And you'll notice it just because the fact is, you you will have people that will admire you, and then there'll be different people that will admire you and then flip the script and then hated you, or they even try to act like they were admiring you and being, oh, I, we can be friends. Is this and this? You tell me this, I'll tell you that, and I'm gonna do this, you know. And there'll be different people that will come towards you. You know, and it's not saying that everybody that comes towards you is an enemy. Everybody that comes towards you have evil intent. But you have, you, you've gone through so much. And a lot of times they'll make you have your guard up. Mine is like that. Because I'm just like, I got to feel you out first. You know, <laughs> I was like, I got to feel you out first. And it, it's just like so many different things um, that uh, that goes on into your life. And you really trying to understand 
you know why why these different things have me con you know have me confined why do I feel like I'm caged why I'm doing this and you don't understand you were prepared to be that person that you don't even realize you're intimate you are ultimate not intimate ultimate ultimate plot twist you know you won't be that one that is going to be very diverse you won't, you hit different your your soul hit different your life hit different your story hit different you know you were made in a whole you cut from a whole different cloth than many people and that's the reason why things are so hard for you why it's hard for you to reach it success is hard for you to have a powerful outcome that's why they say don't give up so easily that's what the devil and the enemy wants because there's a lot of times that you want to you know you want to say to hell with everything i'm tired of going through this you know i'm putting out so much and i only get little back or i'm not being recognized i'm not being this i'm not being that and you ready to give up then you have to be that one that gives you that pet talk with your higher self, your stronger self that's waiting for you to get there. Because you're, it's not saying you're weak. You just become unrecognizing to your own self. I had to tell myself that, girl, you are not recognizing the true potential of yourself. You know, when you're going through different things like that. And you had, the only way you were recognizing that is seeing how the enemy tries so hard to defeat you. And that's the reason why it's like that. You are the, un they, they did not expect that you be the unexpected and those are different reasons why it's so hard for you and they're telling you you have to be able to understand the fact is you you move different you you know you go through different things in life because it's preparing you for a life that you didn't even know you were deserving of things that you you're going to be in different rooms where they speaking of you in places where you didn't feel like you qualified to be there god gonna make that happen you know, you became, you are that one that was dipped all up in the impossible. And it's just, you, you broke out your shell and became, I'm powerfully possible. You know, it ain't even about you being arrogant. It ain't about you looking at people and looking up under your nose. It's like, cause see, it's just the fact is when you stand humble with yourself, you stand humble with yourself, but you feel blessed. You feel grateful because you've gone through so many different things and so many odds was placed against you. And these are the different things that's going to make you show up and show out in your own life. You know, God will place you, but God will give your dad on anybody who went against you. He's going to put them right there for you to be able, they're going to be able to see that. They're going to be able to see everything. It's like, you see that, that, that child right there, that's mine. You know, remind me of that song. It was like, he tapped him. He's like, you know, leveled up twice, leveled up three times. God tapped him and told him these mine, you know. He's like, you, all, everything that rised up, you, you knocked them down. All those different things. You know, you leveling up every time you, you, you go in for yourself. It could be the most littlest adjustment and you leveling up just because you made that little adjustment. You allowed yourself to forgive. You allowed yourself to be appreciating. You allowed yourself to be, you know, show gratitude. Even towards the littlest things that you're getting into your life. When you have show so much gratitude towards the littlest things. And a lot of times it's hard when you don't put so much in. And you only get, like you don't put like a million dollars worth in. And God only gave you 10 cents. What can I do with that? And <laughs> you're like, what can I do with that? And then when you're doing it. It's just like you you going through all these different things. And it's just like, uh this is what you needed to go through this is what you needed to face this is what you needed to heal this is what you needed to understand you know and all these different things and when you're doing that it, it's just like it makes you look at life in a totally different way you know it's, it's easy for us to look at life in a totally different way but in a better vibe in a better in a better view not in a better view but in a better view because it makes you you know because a lot of times we do things or things happen to us so much we'll block so many people out of our lives because we just don't realize what's your intention because anybody that there's like a lot of people that came in my life and they had no good intentions you know trying to get a come up you know trying to be 10 steps ahead trying to do that you know there's a lot of times people you, you will end up saying that because you don't know what kind of intentions is and a lot of times God was like you have to be able to get a chance regardless if that person is not that right for you or they got evil intent you're going to find out you're going to find out you know and those are the different things they tell you you have to be able to give yourself a chance to live a chance to experience not exist not survive but live and experience because if it's not right for you universe is going to project that if that person is right for you universe is going to protect that project that He's protecting you either way.
either way, either way, you know, he's protecting you. And these are the different things that's taking place into your life. You know, because it's just like when somebody sees somebody good like that, they try to break them down in any way possible. You know, they try to stop them in any way possible. You know, and it will be those things that universe will tell you, is this something that can you change? Is this something that you can, can you control? No. Then, okay, let me work with that. You don't know what kind of, you don't know what kind of moves I'm making behind that. A lot of times, you, you know, you, you just like, you know, the things that people did to break you, to try to clip you, to try to wound you, you know, and don't realize that that's, that, that can be used as a powerful thing. You know, let people call you what they want to call you. It's projection of how they feel about themselves. When you get to that point, these are the situations you get in where you get so sure of yourself. You're placing so much love into yourself. You can you can be called everything is in the in the book except the child of God and the name your mama gave you, and not even allow that to bust the grape. Why does that not bust the grape? It's like you ain't gonna say nothing because it's like back in the day you you would have hit me like that. I would hit you with ten things. 10 different things on top of that make you question your whole existence. That's how I used to be really, really live like that. Now, it's just like I'll laugh, you know, because it's just like I don't feel that. And it's not a laugh to antagonize anybody, but it's just the fact is I know who I am. I know what I am. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm trying to do. I know what I'm about to do. I know God got me regardless. And you have to be that way. People don't like it when you are trying to move forward. There's a lot of people who are like, you know what, I admire you and your strength. Because all the stuff you got going on and you still trying to show up for yourself, that that admire, I admire that. That inspires me to do better with my life. I love to see other people win. I love to see other people come up. You know, even when it's like I feel like I'm getting dragged in the mud, I love to see that. When I know that you doing it, you working for it. Yeah, I love to see all that. Other when I see that you doing something else, you'll learn one day, you know, and just leave it alone. Like, God bless you and just keep it moving, you know, and you'll be in that type of vibration to where you stay humble. You know, you get there because a lot of times we can get full of ourselves, start smelling ourselves and start thinking we bigger than life and life is life can't be bigger than us. And God will smack you down real quick and you have no, but, no choice but to put your tail between your legs. You'd be like, I'm sorry. You know, there'll be many times I've been mad at God and stuff like that. And he was like, I want you to be mad at me. I want you to be able to, because you're communicating with me. I'm placing that understanding within you when you're going through the midst of confusion. I allowed them to break you, to build you up in a whole new different way. You were, you were built up on shady stuff. You know, where you, it's like, are you going to go to the 15, 20, and 4, 100 floor when you know a building moving all this way and moving all that way and it ain't on steady foundation head? So, no, no, you ain't about to go through no mess like that. And it was like one sneeze, one hiccup, one pass gas, and that whole building going down. I broke you down because the fact is you were built on lies. You were built on deceit. You were built on things that was learned to you. That wasn't even real, real. You know, your parents done sit up here and taught you a whole new different thing that wasn't based on reality. It was based on illusion. It was based on make-believe, on whole lies, on a whole lie. Not a half a lie, but a whole lie. Now, I had to have them break you down. But watch how I watch them. It's like, watch how I let them build you up. Build you up right in front of them. Bless you up in front of them. You know? And those are the different things. He's like, I made you that plot twist. I made you the unexpected. They weren't expecting you to be that unexpected. You left them shook and confused because the fact is all the things that they've done to you, everything that you, you know, you've been moved through, you know, you surpass that. You know, a lot of times different things, people will put their fears on you and saying, oh, if this happened to me, I couldn't be able to do that. You know, their fears may not, don't, their fears may not be matching up with yours. Their fear may be dying without knowing how to love themselves or being able to live through life. You know, yours may be, you know, external validation, you know, pleasing other people, you know, trying to, you know, be moved by smoke and mirrors. That person may not be fearing of that. You know, God didn't build them up in that way. You know, we all going through our modes. And these are the different things is where you're going to be at that point where you're going to appreciate everything that you have faced. You were that plot twist. You were that hidden wonder. You know, they always call it seven hidden wonders. You one of them. Shoot, you probably got all seven with you. Depending on all the stuff you've gone through. I don't know. 
You know, we all built different that way, you know. And these are the different things that they hitting you in plain sight. You know, you could be one of those little people. And God's strength of a day gonna giant. That's why God put you like that. Because they wanted, to, uh, they wanted you to be underestimated. You could be that person that may be, you know, uh, they see as flamboyant. Or they see as, you know, sissified. I feel like that person is just around the clock blessings on both sides. You don't have to sit up here and label somebody just because you feel some type of way. That may be the way God made them like that because you they wanted you to underestimate that person. And now I realize they're the most powerful shaman of them all. They used to sit up here making Lord of the Rings look bad. You know, you just never know. And that's the reason why God made them up like that. There'll be so many different people I've met and I, I can feel it. You know, within their spirit, how powerful they are, and they could be totally opposite of what they got hidden into them. And I bust out laughing. They're like, Ross, why are you laughing? At me? I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at what God did. God got a dag on dark humor when it came to you. He built you up in that kind of way to make you make other people feel you were one way and you totally the opposite. They hid you in plain sight, and they don't even know it. That's the reason why, because there's a lot of people that, you know, I've heard, not a lot of people, there's some like, well, I don't feel like I'm a Hayoka, because this, that, and the third, I'm black, or I'm from Ireland, or I'm Japanese, or this and this and that, but you carry every characteristic of what a Hayoka is, but it's just like we have our ancient ones, we got the tribal ancestors, you got the collective ones, all these other ones that are out here, you know. And then it was just like they had to make make a shift. This was like built up, you know, with the Mayans and the Incas. They already wrote that, that they were going to have us like in a certain way. And then they're going to build and branch off to another thing, which is sacred. You know, it was like Lakota tribe and all the other ones is connected to that. That's very sacred. They don't talk about stuff like that. That's a big hush-hush. They, they start building up on them before, you know, they start training them when they were in diapers. They start crawling, oh, you're going to know how to manifest this. Be like the Incredibles with that little baby going to run around here and being able to set fires and all that junk. That's how they started off. But they already had it in the hieroglyphs and everything else. It's going to be a moment where God is going to make a total turnaround. And for them to be able to do that, there's going to be ones that's going to have to teach the other ones that's coming through. They're going to be built different. They're going to look different. They're going to come from all walks of life. All different shape, colors, and sexual genders, whatever. They made you like that. And didn't realize that we didn't know that until it was time for us to do that. I've met different guardians that I had. There's been, you know, uh, from the uh, Native American tribes that, that has been learning and been taught and teaching for a long time. And there'll be different things that I would share with them in my life. And it, it blew their daggone mind on the things that I've talked about. The different ones that came into their life that have been on that good book for a good minute. And I didn't know what I was doing, but I was telling them different things that I've felt, different things that I dreamt about, different visions that I've had, different things that I remember from my prior life. And they were like, well, damn, you know, ain't meant for different folks like that. <laughs> you know, they didn't, they didn't know. He was like, well, they didn't let me know about that. And there'll be different ones that I had the same kind of situation like I've had. You know, and we're all reuniting. And it's not saying, oh, just because we are hybrids and, you know, we built different, don't make us better than the ancient ones because you, you don't want to stay humble. Okay? Because they're teaching us. Okay? They're teaching us. There'll be different things that they're teaching us, and it's going to trigger a memory of things. And it's like, you ain't, and it's just like the universe just said, allow me to retort. You're not being taught, you're just being reminded. All these different things that you're going through right now is just reminding you who the heck you are, who you stand for, who got your back, you know, whose child do you belong to, you know, and these are the different things that's going on into your life where you are blessed. Even though you may be feeling like you cursed, you are ultimately blessed just because the fact is you're going to overturn those different things that you're facing. You're going to walk away looking like you ain't never been through nothing. You ain't, gonna, you ain't even going to look like what you've been through. When God get finished with you, you tell somebody something, they're like, "Wait a minute, come here, sit down, let's let's let, let's have a spell." <laughs> like you went through what? You're saying that I mean because there'll be different things that y'all sit up here and tell me, and I see pictures of y'all, and I'm just looking like there ain't no way. That's how we built like. You can really go. I mean, you could have been ran through the trenches, like devil could have finessed the f out of you. And you you gonna be looking all dainty and pretty, looking like you ain't got no hair out of place. And you going through that. 
But that strength is going to project towards different ways. It's going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. It's going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. And God say you, you work, you move through that. You move through it. You move through it. And you come correct with yourself. You come correct with me. I didn't put you through this to get you through it for you to be acting all shy. Okay, this is not what we're going to do. You project and you do that without no palms, not no problems, not no issues, not no nothing. You keep going. Don't worry about who watching you. Don't worry about what the next person going to say or next person going to believe you, next person trying to do. What they trying to block, what they trying to sabotage. What did I say? You know, they ain't going to worry about, don't be, you know, they're really, don't be worried about what's going on here. You pay attention to what's over here, you know, because you are that unexpected. They weren't expecting the unexpected and you are that, you are dripped in that in so many different ways. And this is where they're telling you to have that confidence more than anything. Let that fear fuel, fuel, fuel you, fuel you to where you feeling you in a whole new different way. They broke them wings, but they forgot about them claws, baby. You got the claws, you got the siphon, you got all this other stuff. You the death dealer and the truth teller. That mask came clean off. This is all my truth. Either you like it or you stage left. I know this is right left. Because it's going to be right all on, right on your side. These are the different things that's going on into your life. So you staring strong. It's just like stand strong. This is not about you trying to come up on somebody and look down at anybody. I tell anybody, if I'm looking down at you, is to help you guide you back up, lift you up, uplift you. I'm no better than you. We put our pants on the same kind of way like you do. I don't, I don't do that. You know, allow other people to be that way. You be humble. You stay humble, but you stay grateful. You know, it's just to be those different things is where. You see that 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 saying where it's like when God gets you to where He getting you and it's gonna be more than you prepare for. You you better not stop praying. You thank Him every day because you know what you've been through. You know what you faced. You know what you were in that you felt like you weren't gonna get out of. He tell you every day you wake up and you 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 thank me because I prepared you for more than you expected. More you felt like than you deserve. I know you are my child. I know what you deserve. I know what you more than you expected to deserve. You felt like you weren't going to be able to get out of the situation I put you in. I had this problem already solved before you were even here. Before you were even a twinkle in your dad's eye. You were just <laughs> in the midst of something. You know, he already knew what he was going to put you through. He already knew what he was going to overcome. And he already know where your, your throne is going to be placed at. And these are the different things that's going to go on into your life. Where even though they broke them wings, you got them claws and bring them out. Because you're going to need to climb. And that's exactly what they are. They're going to make sure you sharpen them. Like, oh, okay, you're doing that? Oh, okay, that's fine. You know, and just keep, be sure. You know, oh, you think you somebody. You think you're going to No, it's just fact is I know who, who got my back. I know who's for me. I know who's not for me. I know what's not for me. And I know what's for me. But most of all, I know who child I belong to. So that's the main reason why I don't have no fear. That's why I don't have no worry. I used to be that way, but now it's just like I'm secure in where I'm at. Because I've seen, I seen how he works out for me. Even the different things that he tell me not to worry about, you have to be able to have faith in that. We put, a lot of times we put faith in these false gods. We put faith in idols. We put faith in people. And they all are disappointing at times. You know? But when he, when he does that, when you put faith in him, that's a whole new different ball game. He ain't going to disappoint you. And even though at times where you feel like he's disappointing you, or you feel like he ain't heard, or you feel like you've been forgotten, that's when, it, that, that's when he make that quick turnaround and you be like, dang, this is what you were preparing me for. Dang, this is what you were holding out on me for. This is why that not yet came to now. You know, and these are the different things that's going to show up and show out for you. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. 
like I said, I'll leave my, you know, um, leave my contact information in the description box below. You know, please get in touch with me. It's all about spiritual networking, being able to help you have a deeper understanding of your path of purpose. You know, um, understanding why certain things is happening in your life and where it could be leading you. You know, I help out the best way I can. And whatever we speak on is confidential. If you're ever interested in listening to my podcast, I got that as well on my community section of my um, channel as well. Or even if you're interested in podcasting, you know, please let me know. Um, I'll help out the best way I can because where I go, I mean, it's totally simple and it's very easy to do and it's very enjoying and it's very therapeutic for me. It's like a positive outlet for me and I really truly enjoy it. So if you're ever interested in that, please let me know. And if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, the Cash App is there as well. So whatever you're trying to work on and to, to bring into your fruition, I'm sending so many different vibes to uplift you to get there and plus so much more. So whatever you're needing, I'm sending it towards you 20 million times fold. You know, stay persistent and consistent no matter what your surroundings are looking like, no matter how many times you don't make mistakes and setbacks. It's all preparing you for a powerful comeback. So stay persistent and consistent. Don't don't sleep on yourself. Stay woke. The devil is a whole lie. He see your potential and your light. So he'll try to convince you in every way possible that these, these things cannot become possible with you. That is impossible. So you keep going. Because God going to show up and show out for you. So I hope, you know, you had a blessed day or I have a blessed week and a blessed weekend whenever this video do, video do decide to come out. So, you know, much love to you. And um, if you, it's like even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You never know. All those things can really, really, really take somebody a long way and it'll take you even further just because you did it without any kind of expectations or returning anything back. It'll take you even further. So much love to you. Peace. Namaste. I say shalom. Blessed be. And much love. Peace.